So Tommy. What? Can you tell me what projectile motion is? Oh, that's easy. Wait, it's when something goes this way and this way at the same time. Wh where did you learn that? TK. Great. Lily, what's projectile motion? It's easy? It's easy. Thank you. Say bye-bye. It's actually pretty hard. All right. So here we have a ball that's traveling at 1.5 meters per second across a table. We're given the height of the table as 0.9 meters, and we're asked to find the time that the ball will spend in the air, the maximum horizontal range, which is x here, and then lastly, the velocity of the ball 0.2 seconds after uh, leaving the edge of the table. All right, so here's, here's the diagram. And we have a couple pieces of information that um, is not explicitly stated in the problem. Um, and that the first one being the initial y velocity. So the initial y velocity, since the ball leaves uh, perfectly in the x direction, uh, that means that the initial y velocity is zero, and that will be uh, important. And then this is our initial x velocity, the 1.5. Um, this 0.9 meters, we're going to make this, this is a y displacement. We're going to make this negative. Since the ball's going down, uh, our sign convention is down is negative, up is positive. Um, and let's see, what else? Our accelerations. So we know that the x velocity, so we'll put the ball right here, the x velocity remains constant throughout. So this will be 1.5 meters per second. And another way of saying constant velocity is zero acceleration. So acceleration x is zero. And acceleration vertical in the y is gravity, which is negative 9.8. All right, so to the solutions. So number one, time in the air. So as you're first getting comfortable with doing these, it's all about, you know, becoming familiar with the kinematic equations. So finding time in the air, we do not have enough information uh, with the x direction. All we know about the x direction is the velocity is 1.5 and that that velocity is constant. So we're going to find time with using the y direction. Uh, the first kinematic, I call it the first kinematic, it's the most commonly used one. Okay, our initial y velocity is zero, so we can cross this out. And that leaves us with uh, y equals one-half gt squared. Doing the algebra leaves t equals 2y over g. So that's 2. Our y displacement is negative 0.9. And gravity is negative 9.8. So this gives us a time of 0 0.4286, which we could round on a test or a quiz, I would probably just have this as 0.4. However, we're going to use this time in our next calculation. So when we use this value, uh, this time, we'll, we'll be sure to not use the rounded time. We'll use the full time. All right, second question, maximum horizontal range. So as we talked about in class, uh, there is only one equation for the x direction. The four kinematics basically reduce to this. Uh, we have the x velocity, it's 1.5. And our time is 0.4286 seconds, giving us a horizontal displacement of 0 0.6429. And again, We'll just round this to, we're, we're really not paying too close attention to sig figs here. In fact, I'm not paying attention. 
but uh, we would just, we'll just round this to the tenths place. Okay, the last question is the trickiest. It's a vector problem. So I'm going to shrink down these first two. Oops. We'll shrink this down. And... Number three. Okay, so this is a vector question. I kind of chopped off my uh, 1.5 here. Um, so at 0.2 seconds, let's say that that's right at this location here. We're going to say that this represents t equals 0 0.2 seconds inside that circle. So at 0.2 seconds, the ball is not traveling perfectly x, and it's not traveling perfectly y. It's traveling at an angle like this. So the ball has uh, an x velocity and simultaneously a y velocity. We already have the x velocity because the x velocity remains constant. Um, we just need to find what the y velocity is at 0.2 seconds. So we will use this kinematic, the third one on my list, vy final equals vy initial plus gt. vy initial is zero. So our final y velocity is, take the acceleration of gravity, multiply by our time, which is now 0.2 seconds, and this gives us an answer of negative 1.96 meters per second. So we can put that here. Point. Um, so the last thing to do, so we have both sides of this triangle. We're looking for this hypotenuse. So we do Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which I'm not going to show here just for sake of time. But when you do Pythagorean theorem, this vector comes out to be the final total velocity combining x and y is 2.46 meter per second, but that's only half the answer because we also need to specify the direction, which we'll describe as being below the horizontal. This vector here uh, points below the horizontal. So to get that angle, tangent inverse uh, 1.96 opposite over adjacent and this gives an angle of 52.6 so our total answer is this alright